Oh, hello there, son. Didn't hear you coming. Sneaking up on your dear old dad like usual. Here, come pop a squat on dad's lap. He's got a few more stories left in him. Now, I gotta tell you that I don't plan on reading any more Tard stories to you, just because there's a lack of existing content out there. That last video pretty much drained the well completely. So, that being the case, you'll probably find a Tard story here, a Downey story there, sprinkled into the general green text video. But you're never gonna see a dedicated video to it again. Sadly, rest in peace. The bogus hour is upon us. Life as we know it is over. So, that being said, if you're here to bitch and moan and complain in the comments, I recommend unsubscribing because I'm not gonna put up with your fucking bullshit. Otherwise, feel free to enjoy the video that I've uh, constructed here for you. Wait, 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 wait a minute. It's 9 p.m. Um, why aren't you in bed? Go to bed, you little shit! Be me. Go out drinking with the boys. Get super drunk. Wake up in someone else's bed. Look over and see a 7 out of 10 girl. Find my clothes with phone in pocket. Check messages. 7 missed calls from dad. 4 missed calls from mom. Texts from the boys asking where I'm at. Most recent message was sent to my black uncle. Called him an N-word for no reason. My face when my parents think I'm kidnapped, boys think I'm dead, and my uncle thinks I'm a racist. What do, Anons? Like, if you were at a party, what would you tell me about yourself? You knew the question was coming, but you still have nothing. Um, I'm a pretty laid-back person. Nelson stares straight at you. He wants three details. Uh, I'm kind of an introvert. Nelson relaxes his brow in an attempt to be disarming as he senses your nervousness. You have nothing. The awkward silence grows past eight seconds. Um... He continues to stare dead straight at you. His yellow lanyard against the paisley tie stands out as the only color in the fluorescent lit room. Um, I graduated college. Okay. Nelson responds a little too quickly, betraying the finality of his evaluation of you not only as a potential juror, but as a person. He knows how sad and pathetic you are. He doesn't look to the judge, but he knows you're a strike, and waits for his response. The judge thanks you and sends you home in a voice softer and nicer than he used on the other jurors. You are relieved and ashamed as you grab your coat and make your way out the door. You think about what fast food to pick up and eat alone at home. Be me. Degenerate. Get drunk as fuck and decide to check if I'm bisexual once and for all. Call a random dude from Grinder to my place to fuck. He gets to my place, starts putting my dick in- <laughs> He starts putting my dick in his ass. What the fuck, I don't want AIDS. Uh, what about protection? Fuck you, you wasted my fucking time. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, let me at least come. Realize this is fucking gross to me. The dude proceeds to jerk off and come on my stomach. Holy fuck, I want to throw up. He leaves, spend the day washing myself and throwing up. Still remember how awful that was sometimes at night. I confirmed I'm straight. No, you didn't. A guy jerked off on your stomach, man. <laughs> you will never own a real train. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Trains are cool. Read a thread on a ritual that supposedly allows you to lucid dream. I attempt it. It actually works. I can lucid dream. All I have to do is say something, and it happens. If I say I can fly, well, I can fly. If I were to say I used to be president, I would immediately flash back to my time in office. Other characters appear in my dream. They start having flashbacks of their own. I can't control them. I have to stick to the script until their flashbacks are over. Peter Griffin is a character in my dreams. I have no power over him. Every time he has a flashback, I'm forced to play along. Every night, I'm trapped in an episode of Family Guy. Become terrified of sleeping. Eventually, my body caves and I fall asleep. Every night, I'm subjected to a hellscape of pop culture references and poop jokes. I had no idea it was this bad. Late yesterday, be in therapy. 
Literal autism. Therapist sits me down and listens to my video story. Late twenties, but still hot. She says, I want to try something new today. My heart goes a million miles an hour. The therapist makes me diamonds. My autism brain thinks that this is the day. Uh, okay. This is a behavioral contract. Hands me a piece of paper with stickers. Fucking stickers. Literal good boy points with a different name. I start to tear up. My heart is still racing, so my calm is fucked. Fucking get out of the room to the bathroom and actually start crying. Anon, what's wrong? Fuck, she knew. Tell her I didn't think I was so far gone. Show her green text from 4chan. Tell her these are jokes. Anon, these aren't jokes. I see these things all the time. I try to laugh. Cluck cluck autism tarting out. It's called stereotypy anon. I stare, hearing her voice go sympathetic. Fuck dot gif. Do you know how you like to roll your shoulders when you talk about your game or watch your YouTube videos? What? It's just stereotypy. Repetitive and restrictive behaviors that need to be worked on. I start crying again. I didn't even know my shoulders did anything. I just thought I was talking about video games and getting social help. Look back at the contract. Goal number one. Hygiene. Cry even harder. First day at the office in 12 months. Walk in to meet the new manager for the first time. See pic related on her wall. She asks me if I like her poster. I smile and nod. Amazing, Anon. We will get along great. Great that we can check our white privilege and leave it at the door, am I right? Tell her that I am 75% Chinese and don't have white privilege. She tells me we all have some degree of white privilege. I smile and leave. Report her and what just happened to HR. The HR is of Chinese descent. White privilege lady gets fired. See her packing things into a box. Tell her not to forget her white privilege. Watch her burst into tears. Feel slightly guilty. Push 35 commits and I feel better. Go home and eat sushi. Walk past the special ed room. The teacher is a 10 out of 10 MILF. See the tartlet staring directly at her ass. He winks at me with drool rolling down his face. Later in the day, he is getting into the tard chariot and sees me getting on my bus. The retard mumbles, I'm gonna hit that! I nod in agreement. Even the disabled can dream. Be me, mid-twenties, always late for work. Idea.bat. Start jerking off while I'm taking my morning shit to save time. It's going well, a few months now, and I'm much less late. One morning, do my business, take a shit and jerk off, get ready for work. Walk outside to my car, smell dog shit. Boner. God have mercy on me. Be me. Back in high school. Why do I say it like that? High school. High school. Why am I a broken man? Be me. Back in high school. Really didn't like finishing a project near the end of the school year. So instead, I acquired a zip bomb the likes of which has never been seen before. Labeled it as the product that I mentioned. Forward it to the entire school district of staff. Fucks up literally every computer except for a few in the computer room. The entire end of the school year gets turned on its head because now the overweight bitches in the media room actually have to stand up and deliver papers to people. After everything, the teachers are told by the IT guy that it was sent from me. Say I have no idea how it happened and my file must have gotten corrupted. They believe it because puny shriveled boomer minds and I have no school record of doing bad or dumb shit. My face when I act like I feel sick, so that I can sit outside the nurse's office and watch the 400 pound big black whale women in the front groan and grunt when they get out of their chairs. Be my parents. Have sex. Baby comes. Call the baby Chan. It's Japanese me. Be as retarded as all kids are for the first years of my life. Start developing an interest in computers and coding. Get really good at it, cause it's all I do and all my spare time goes into it. One day, I decide that I miss social contact but hate talking to people. Create a message board. Categorize it into a million subboards, cause I'm an OCD autist. Spam it full of pictures, blog posts, screen texts, and videos. 
respond to them all myself to have varied, fulfilling conversations. All other IPs are banned from posting. Do this for years, every day, every hour. Happy I have a social outlet just for me. Just for Chan. It's all just me. Be me, lonely guy. Go out at night, walking around my city. Suddenly, I see a group of people. I go up to them and start a conversation. We hit it off. Everyone finds me funny and nice. There are a few girls in the group as well who are into me. We all grab some beers and go to the park and sit on the grass. Sit with them for three hours. It feels like no time has passed at all. At the end, we make a group chat on WhatsApp and we plan to meet up again. Happiest I've felt in years. <sighs> Wake up. That feeling when you ask people how old they think you are and they say 30. That feeling when I was offered a seat on the bus yesterday. I'm only 27. I still have time. I had a really weird dream. Be me. In parking lot of a shopping center that I regularly visit. See a sign for McDonald's. Find that weird because there's never been a McDonald's in this area. Walk over to get some food because I'm hungry. Go inside an entrance. There are no doors to get in. When I walk in it, it looks like a combination of a really shitty Greyhound bus station and a really shitty park bench that hasn't been touched since the late 90s. There's some white crackhead woman sitting at one of the tables. She yells at me saying, This isn't where you order. I walk back outside and go around the corner of the building. I see a window in the wall, basically. There's some really ghetto black guy behind some iron rails and other security shit over the windows. You can visibly see all sorts of food just lying on a metal counter back there. Ask for a crispy chicken sandwich. He responds, You mean filet a chicken? Uh, yeah, sure. Go back to the dining area. A large black woman asks if I got fries. I tell her no. Eventually, the guy who takes my order comes with a paper bag, casually pulls out a gun and shoots the white woman. No one reacts at all. The guy hands me my sandwich. I ask how much I owe him. He responds, All your debts have been forgiven. He drags the corpse of the white woman away. Take a bite of the sandwich. It's disgustingly rotten. I wake up. What does this mean? Be me. 14. My mom is super scared about what I have on my phone. Download one of those calculator apps that hides images behind a code. One day, she was going through my phone. She bursts into my room, phone in hand. Anon, what is this? Tell her it's just a calculator app. I'm freaking out on the inside. She says she knows what it is. Oh shit, dot JPEG. Open it now, Anon. Start freaking out. I say no. She threatens to take away everything I have for a year. I, uh, reluctantly unlock the calculator. She looks at the screen. There's only one image. She opens it. It's literally just the stupid beaned picture. Mom looks at me. What the fuck, Anon? Be me. Retarded faggot. Slap my own dick accidentally. My dick fucking hurts. Try to put some ice on my dick so that it hurts less. It doesn't work. Try to jerk it. It hurts even more. Take a chisel. Cut my dick. Now I can't jerk off anymore. What do? Be me. 21. Super straight male. Get horny one night and decide to use the local glory hole. They actually kind of enjoy it. Halfway through, the person on the other side moans. It's a guy's moan. Realize that I've been sucking a man's cock this entire time. My face win. Be me in high school. One day, the teacher asked the class what album or song he should play. Most of the class asks him to play Lil Pump or BTS or whatever. The teacher picks me and I say Master of Puppets album from Metallica. He plays it and the entire class is saying to pick something else. My face when I'm the only one that enjoys rock and metal music out of my class. My face when everyone is saying that it's garbage. Yeah, you were born in the wrong generation, huh? Take your boomer rock and fuck off to the nursing home, piece of shit motherfucker. Go get some good goddamn taste in music, you little bitch. Be me. Riding my motorcycle. Get hit by a car. Damn, it hurts, but I walk it off. The girl that hit me is hammered. 
I call 911 because she has a massive gash on her head. She's off to the ambulance. After the crash, we get to know each other. She's tall, blonde, and cute. We begin to date after six months of talking to each other. Three years later, we get married. My wife just got pregnant. We have a house at the bottom of a beautiful hill. Reminds me of bliss. One year later, my three-month-old son is growing so fast. Drive him to the doctor's office for a checkup. Turn left. A car is heading towards me. I swerve out of the way, holding my son. I wake up in a hospital. I had gotten into a motorcycle crash three weeks ago. But wasn't it in a car? Been in a coma the whole time. I asked what happened to the driver. She died. I want my family back. Be me. McDonald's opens close to my house. Never listen to mom. Stopped going to school because I was a special boy and the others were too normal. Mummy loves me. Order her to buy me nine nuggies and two filet fishies I love fishies. Says that she will, but only if I make two friends. I hate friends, but I love McDonald's more. Mom takes me to a special color place with people who talk nice to me. I meet two other special boys. Finally, someone who understands me. Go to McDonald's and mom orders everyone two fishies and nine nuggies. Other kids like nuggies more than fishies. Give each special boy two nuggies for his two fishies. I get six fishies and five nuggies while they only get eleven nuggies each. Keep doing this for the next five years. This is what being happy feels like. Be me. Regular 4chan user for six years. One day I decide to go on Reddit. Has been a long time and I'm wondering how the culture has developed. I love memes, so I'll go to r slash dank memes. Heard there was some really good stuff on there. Look at their hot page. I see... OMG, this is a certified epic moment. Big Daddy Fat Big Chungus? Based? OMG, this is so relatable and funny. <laughs> 69 is funny sex number, so I upvote. <laughs> like upvote, but not, so I don't get banned. <laughs> 420, more like poo farty. <laughs> I cummed at sexy women because I don't see women. <laughs> Relatable. Cum suck. <laughs> Step bro, I'm stuck. Ooh. Can we get 42,069 likes for this epic Keanu Reeves moment? Holy shit, did I actually just find a platform more retarded than 4chan? Be me. 18, on a school trip. Staying in a hotel for three days. Play truth or dare with my whole class in a room. Get drunk. A guy dares me to take my pants off in front of everyone. I do it. We all go to sleep. A QT girl sneaks up to my bed. Oh, wow, Anon. I would have never guessed you had such a big dick. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. I guess I do. Maybe I can see it again. <laughs> we aren't playing truth or dare anymore, Becky. You're drunk. Go to sleep. She leaves. Wake up sober tomorrow and realize what I did. My face when. Main character, Swole, doesn't speak much, uses extreme violence instead of words, rips and tears everyone with his raw strength. The only thing they fear is him. No living women in game. One living woman. You have to kill her. Doom is based and anyone who disagrees is a woman. Be me. One chance at life. Turkish. I've trained my Instagram and TikTok to only suggest pics and videos of attractive half-clothed Asian models. Every day after work, I sit in the break room and look at these apps. I'm alone because I'm the last closer. I sit there for about 90 minutes after every shift just consuming and saving as much of these women as I can. Sometimes I go longer, but generally I stop because I can't take knowing that I'll never have a beautiful, fit, young Asian wife. It's been 65 minutes now. Maybe today will be the last time I do this to myself. But probably not. Be me. Have a jar of toenail clippings. Idea. Put them on a sheet pan and dehydrate for two days. Grind in spice grinder. Mix in with people's Pepsi at the bowling alley. I feel guilty. Be me. Having controversial opinions about LGBT and Black Lives Matter. Watching a bunch of Steven Crowder, Ben Shapiro, and other conservative videos. Getting ready to destroy libtards. 
No libtards in my country. Most of the people are homophobic and racist here anyway. My face when... Be me. Goes downstairs to the condo's gym. A 9 out of 10 girl is on one of the treadmills. She says hi. I hop onto one of the other treadmills beside her. She's perfect. 1.6 meters, mid to large boobs, brunette. We're both running and share some glances. She finishes her exercise, smiles at me before leaving and says goodbye. Feels good, man. JPEG. I've seen other girls there, you bet your average 5 or 6 out of 10. Never such perfection. Break into her house and come in her shampoo. Be me. Decide to finally make a post on 4chan after years of lurking. Nobody responds. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. The only person who responds calls me a faggot and then the post dies. Even in a website full of losers, I am a bigger one than all of them. My face when? Faggot. Be me. 21 years old. Drank a lot of water followed by an energy drink. Need to piss. PNG. Start pissing. Fuck yeah. Dot gif. Notice it's unusually clear and decide that I should taste it. Grab a plastic cup off the bathroom counter and fill it up. The full cup looks slightly discolored, but not obviously piss colored. Tastes like water. What the fuck? Dot PNG. Well, don't want to waste water. Fuck it. 15 minutes later, my mom walks in and asks what the hell is in my cup. Water and Mio, now fuck off you fat cow. Mom grabs it and tastes. Literally piss, dot PNG. Spits it all over me. Says it's literally piss and proceeds to have a slight mental breakdown. This is how I found out that I had COVID. Smelled and tasted like piss, according to other family members who tasted it. What a goof. Pick slightly related. Be me, 13. Autistic loser, never had a friend. Nobody talks to me. Just started playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> wow, this game is amazing. Meet a female night elf player. The character's name is Nightya. Female elf model is ugh, hot as fuck. We become friends, start playing together often. My first friend. Never asked the player if she was a girl in real life. I assumed she was because she played a female character. Start to fall in love. I'm 13 and in love with pixels controlled by a human that I've never met. The best part of my day becomes when Nightia logs on and we talk. I begin to fantasize about living with her. My first love. She tells me that she is cleaning her friends list one day and she's going to remove me. I literally start sobbing and shaking. Tell her that I'm crying and that I need her in my life. She is shocked and tells me to get on a Skype call. Nightia is actually a 30-something-year-old guy. We block each other. Never happy again for the next year. Be me. 27-year-old kissless, handholdless, hugless virgin. 5 out of 10 chubby girl comes into the gas station every night. Works at the weed store in the next town over and always stops for snacks and gas when she gets off work. I finally decide to shoot my shot. Um, no thanks. I don't really date guys who work at gas stations. <laughs> Hit cancel payment on my screen. Huh, looks like your card was declined. She tries again. Cancel the payment again. Sorry, but if you can't pay, then you're gonna have to leave. But, but I'm almost out of gas and there's nothing else around. Tell her that sucks, but she has to leave. Watch her walk to her car in a practical blizzard. Go home. Fall asleep peacefully after furiously jacking it to the idea of her freezing to death in her car. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What am I reading? Make female friend in class. A little older than me, but a little smaller than me and hot as hell. Starts inviting me out for coffee after class, just me and her. Text each other constantly. This goes on for about a month. Totally convinced that she likes me, thinking about making a move. One day we start talking about cats, say I'd never want one. But, Anon, what if your future husband wants one? Silence. We just stare at each other. Y you're gay, right, Anon? What the fuck? I fucking hate women. Maybe don't act gay. Be me. Be 4chan. Sift through porn and gore for lay funny. Ooh, a green text. Micro dick erect.jpg. 
Read green text. Read it. Die instantly. To be me. Have a twin sister. She starts menstruating at 12. I feel left out. Start scraping the inside of my rectum with a... <laughs> Start scraping the inside of my rectum with a toothbrush. Causes it to bleed. Insert tampon. Feel feminine and empowered. <laughs> On slash B. Trying to think of a funny green text to make. I get an idea. Write up a post about how me and my friends beat our wives as a sport and the loser has to pay the hospital bills. It becomes popular, gets a lot of replies and shit. Reposted to r slash green text with plenty of upvotes and fake virtual awards. A week or so passes. Scrolling through r slash all on reddit when I see one of the top posts. 4chan post used to charge men with domestic violence. Wait, what? I read through the article. Some dude read the green text and found similarities to the behavior of his brother and friends, leading him to investigating and finding out that they all abused their girlfriends. My face when my shit posting saved the lives of several women. My face when I'm a hero, but no one can ever know or else they'll find out that I go on 4chan. Girl looks at me and smiles. I immediately get an erection. What the fuck have I become? And he called the place Massah and Meribah, because the Israelites quarreled, and because they tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord uh, among us, or not? Be me. Middle school. Hard time making friends. Walking out of school one day, next to a classmate. My mom waves me down. Holy shit, is that your mom, dude? She's hot! That's it. I'll be the kid with a hot mom. Another day, walking outside with a different classmate. This is my chance. I'm the kid with a hot mom. Oh, there's my mom. Gotta go. Ha, she's hot, huh? He just stares back and says, What the fuck, dude? My face when? Be me, two years ago. Heavy addiction problem. Buying meth. Meth plug cooks his own meth and is constantly on it. Always meet in a dark alley on Friday at 11 p.m. He walks up to me but doesn't look me in the eyes doesn't recognize me and begins saying random words. I knew the guy for three years and didn't see him sober once. Well, fuck, he finally lost it. Who are you? Where, where are we? I'm, a uh, uh, Non, here for the pickup. Don't lie to me, give me your phone, policeman. I turn around and start walking away. I wouldn't do that if I were you. The guy pulls out a fucking gun. What is happening? Give me your phone, policeman. I give him my phone and ask to leave. Ask me to unlock it. I unlock it, he then takes his phone, opens the settings on my phone, and takes a picture of my settings with his phone. You think I need your phone? Fuck your phone! Throws my phone on the ground. The protective glass breaks into pieces. He thinks he's broken my phone. Pick up your broken phone, pussy! I pick up my phone and run away. Spend thirty dollars on a new protective glass screen and never do meth again in my life. Thank you, fried meth dealer. I fucked a trap, and I regret it. Meet a friend from Discord. We live near each other. He's a trap. We get super close and start meeting up. One night, we start drinking. One thing leads to another and we're getting handsy. He goes to the bathroom to prep. He comes back. I am diamonds. I slide my dick in. Feels like a ring around my dick. Start pounding away with no rap. He's moaning. Eh, it feels okay for me. Pull out my dick. Literal watery shit on my cock. The shit has mixed with the lube and is now leaking out of his ass. It fills the room with the strong smell of shite. He leaked poop all over my bed. I run to the bathroom and vomit. Puke. My dick is still semi-hard. I look down at it. Oh my fucking god. Tiny small bits of white string on my dick. Tiny small bits of white string moving all over my dick. Kicked that mentally ill freak out of my flat. Spend the next three hours in the shower. Ha! You got ass worms on your pee pee. Be me. 25. Basically, no friends IRL. No one cares for me. Parents ignore me because I grew up to be a failure. Work as a car mechanic. Been smoking weed for nine years daily order my stuff from a guy who I've known from school. 
He basically has anything. Weed, speed, MDMA, even heroin or crocodile and some shit. Works like this. I have two letterboxes in front of my house. One for usual mail and one for him. He has a key and I have one too. I put my money inside, text him what I want. He takes my money and leaves the weed. He's never disappointed me. I decided to end my life because it's shit. No love, no friends, no family. Only weed, video games, car repairs, and me. I text him I want heroin, about one gram. Come home from work the next day, open drug letterbox, find a blunt and a note. The note reads, hey Anon, come around sometime, I'm always home after 7pm, and an address in my city written on it. Friday, 7.30, I go to the address, I ring the doorbell, the dealer opens the door. A burst of weed smell hits me in the face with the force of a thousand raging gods. We go inside. We sit on the couch. He asks me why I want the heroin. I tell him because I want to OD. We sit there for four hours, talking and smoking. He tells me I can come around whenever I want. Calls me a friend. Even gives me a discount on weed if I promise not to order anything else. I promise him. My face when someone cared for me. My face when someone called me friend for the first time in years. Thanks, dealer friend. Be me. On B since 2008. Asperger's diagnosis. Turns out Asians like Aspies. Married a QT 3.14 Asian waifu. Don't need anything from other women anymore. Watch them grow massively pissed off at me when I don't give them special treatment or accept their bullshit. Focus all of my love and attention to my wife, who does the same for me. Double income, no kids. Both computer programmers, we buy all the cool tech we want. Don't despair, Anon. I never thought it would happen, but somehow it did. Keep living your best life, and things could still work out. Dad left when I was 12 years old. I'm now 36 years old. He calls me every three months or so to ask if I want fish. If I say yes, he drops by and gives me a frozen fish. I think my dad has autism. Be me, king of the house. Mom and brother do anything I say. Only eat tendies and drink chocolate milk. Get 13 tendies and 2 chocolate milks 3 times a day. That's 39 tendies and 6 chocolate milks every single day. Never have to go to work or to school. Kinda lonely though. Mom even takes me to see a special human guy to teach me how to talk to humans every day. Living the perfect life. Ask girl out on date. She says yes. Ask her what time her dad can drive us to the movies. She just gives me a blank stare. Okay, well, you guys should pick me up around 7. Give her a fist bump and run home in excitement. Her and her dad pick me up around 7. No one says a word on the way there. He drops us off. As I'm getting out of the car, I stop and ask him for money for the movie. He just stares at me. I politely inform him that movies don't grow on trees. He gives me $30. I clear my throat and keep my hand out. He gives me another $10. I roll my eyes and say, Thanks, guy, really sarcastically. The girl I asked out is looking super embarrassed. We walk up to the ticket window. Did your dad give you enough money for the movie? She looks like she's about to cry. Well, sweetheart, you should call him, because he only gave me enough for myself and some food. We didn't go on a second date. Be me, angry as fuck. Get home, feel like punching my door. Go to fridge, get chocolate milk. Drink milk, nerves calm. Milk makes me happy. Now in good mood. Thanks, milk. Be me, six foot two white dude. My phone bill is due, I go through cricket. Used a fake name for the account because they don't check IDs. I don't remember what it is though. I go to the cricket store. There's a black dude working at the counter. I give him my number. He looks up my name with my phone number. Tyrone Watermelon. Oh fuck, dot JPEG. He looks shocked. Looks up at me. Your name is Tyrone Watermelon. With a straight face, I say, Yes. Really? Yeah. I pay my bill. All he can say is, Have a nice day. I leave. My face when... By far, the worst thing that I've ever done. 
B12, living with an abusive aunt and uncle. We lived on an old farm, no animals, just fields. My uncle goes off to a market and comes back with this filthy ass horse. Says it's bred from some old bloke's prize stallion. My auntie loves it for some reason, cause it's all muddy, she calls it dirty. She was a bit fucked up like that. I, being a countryside fag, liked horses and riding them. Then they turned on me, saying, If we ever catch you riding our fucking horse, then we'll beat the living shit out of you. They meant it. They've done it before. A few days later, I'm messing around in the fields with an old tractor tire that I found. Dirty is just there, eating grass and shit next to me. My auntie and uncle come out every few minutes to make sure that I'm not riding the horse. I get bored and climb inside the tire. The tire starts moving. The field wasn't flat. I can't stop. Auntie and uncle come outside to check on me. They see me rolling. They're hating. Patrolling. Trying to catch me riding dirty. <sighs> Be me. Be in first grade, taking a test. The teacher tells us that if we can't do a problem, to just put a smile face. Middle of the test, I look up at the teacher, smile as hard as I can, hold the smile for a solid two minutes. My face when I'm placed into special ed next week. <laughs> Be me. Turn 18 last summer, start getting credit card offers in the mail. Get every card that I possibly can. Visa, Amex, all the big ones. Get cards for specific gas station chains, stores, phone providers, all that. End up with about 15 cards total. I max them all out. My recent purchases include a PS5 and a new TV. Have about $25,000 in debts across all of my cards. I don't pay any monthly bills. I get late notices, tons of fees added on. Debt just grows and grows without me even spending anymore. Seems like a big deal except for one small detail. I notice that all the cards have an expiration date. Just have to wait it out until they expire, and then the debt evaporates like it never happened. Sorry Visa, I was just playing the game that you created. Be me, a good boy, eating tendies. A Wendy's worker, cutie girl, delivers my dewey. Mum tells me to thank her. This girl is waifu material. Oh, thank you, m'lady. She starts yelling that she does not identify as a lady and that her pronouns are them slash they. Mm, sorry, m'lady. They gift me with a box of tendies. Life is good. Tard stories time. At a car dealership with my dad, fucking around in the showroom cars. In the driver's seat, a tard enters the back seat. The tard screeches, What the fuck, dot JPEG? I turn around, Eee? The tard responds in the affirmative, Eee? Tard grunts. He shits his pants in the new car. His dad opens the door. Hey, buddy, how. Oh, god damn it, David again! Dad got me McDonald's on the way home. Story time, B. Be me, depressed and homebody, stuck in my room almost constantly. Decide to get a bonsai tree. Looking up maintenance and care, completely overlooked my smoking habit. I realize that I'm killing this tree with my shitty choice to smoke, ignoring the irony of killing myself with my choice to smoke. I started smoking outside, started smoking less. The bonsai is looking great. I feel much better too. I quit smoking altogether. Thanks, Bonzi. Be me. 16. Take acid with drug dealers I knew. The drug dealers say their cousin is on his way because they haven't seen him in a while. Sure, why not, Daddy XE. About an hour later, I'm really tripping balls. Their cousin walks in with a helmet on. He is severely fucking retarded. The cousin starts talking to me about how he got a new pogo stick, and how he has been practicing and asks me if I want to see him hop around outside. I'm sweating, tripping balls, and a retarded kid just asked me if I want to watch him bounce around on a pogo stick. He gets really close to me, and keeps asking me over and over and over if I want to see him bounce on his pogo stick. For some reason I start to convince myself that I'm retarded. Bad trip starts up. Oh no, I'm retarded, I'm gonna die. 
He asks me to go watch him on his pogo stick again. His downy face morphs into a demon. I get scared. I punch him as hard as I can in the face. He starts squealing and rolling around on the floor. I feel the deepest terror I have ever felt in my life. Run out of the apartment all the way home. Hide under my blanket for hours crying because I thought that a demon had cursed me and turned me retarded. 